Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. Nice to see everyone again. And for this video, we'll still talk about the physical property of carboxylic acid, but this is the part 2 of it, where in this part, we will discuss about solubility. And to be more accurate, we'll discuss the solubility in water. So let's jump straight into the solubility in water. So talking about solubility, the two main keywords that you should have in your mind will be hydrophilic area and also the partner of it hydrophobic area knowing that hydro actually represent water philic represent love so hydrophilic area is the area that will love water while your hydrophobic is your h2o your hydro the water phobic means you hate the water so hydrophilic area will be the water loving area. Hydrophobic area will be the area that will run away from water, that will be staying very far from the water because they don't like the water. So make sure you can differentiate hydrophilic area and also hydrophobic area in solubility. So in your carboxylic acid RCOOH over here, we have two area. Which one is hydrophobic? Which one is hydrophilic? The first one that we will look into is your R. So the R right now is actually your alkyl group. And I hope everybody knows that your alkyl group is all your carbon group. Okay. And your alkyl group over here is actually your hydrophobic area, which means it's the area that we hate water. All right. So bear that in mind, your R group, your alkyl group is always the hydrophobic area, is the area that we hate water. Well, next coming up is your COOH over here. And this COOH is actually your carboxyl group. And this carboxyl group is your hydrophilic area, which means it's your water loving area. Why is this area water loving? Because this area is the area that you can form hydrogen bond with water molecule. And this area is the area that will dissolve in water. Okay? So I hope you can identify which one is your hydrophobic area, which one is your hydrophilic area in your carboxylic acid. Just want to remind you that the carboxylic acid that up to 4 carbon will be completely soluble in water. For example, your methanoic acid moving all the way up to your butanoic acid will be completely soluble in water because the number of carbon in your alkyl group is very small. Okay, the alkyl group right now is very small. Therefore, the carboxylic acid that up to 4 carbon, your butanoic acid will be completely soluble. And also, just want to remind you, your COOH is the area that will love the water. It's also the area that can form hydrogen bond with the water molecule as we mentioned previously. So, how can we increase the solubility? If I want my solubility to be very high, what can we do? The first thing that we can do is, you need to have more hydrophilic group. So, in the other words, you have more COOH group. The more COOH group that you can have, more area can form hydrogen bond with water molecule, higher solubility. Or in the other way, vice versa of it, smaller hydrophobic group. So your R group right now is smaller with less number of carbon atom. When your hydrophobic area is smaller over here, in the other words, it will be easier to soluble in water solubility will increase. So that is how your hydrophilic group will be affecting the solubility and also your hydrophobic group affecting the solubility. The higher the hydrophilic group, the higher the solubility. The lower the hydrophobic group, the higher the solubility. And that is how we play around with the solubility. Let's move to the first example that we have in this video your butanoic acid and also butane dioic acid. So butanoic acid is your 4 carbon carboxylic acid holding 3 carbon alkyl group and 1 COOH. Butane dioic acid is your COOH2 group 
holding total four carbon butane, and that is your butane dioic acid. And by looking at the example, do you think we are going to discuss the hydrophobic or the hydrophilic factor? Look at what are the main differences. The main differences over here is your butanoic acid having only one COOH group. Well, in your butane dioic acid, you can see over here, due to the dioic acid, you have two COOH group. So COOH group, we know that your COOH group is your hydrophilic group. So this hydrophilic group right now is lower or smaller in your butanoic acid, while the hydrophilic group in your butane dioic acid is higher because you have two COOH. When the hydrophilic area is higher over here, which one is more soluble? Definitely the one that can form more hydrogen bond with the water molecule. So you can form more hydrogen bond with water molecule over here because you have two COOH. Automatically, the solubility of your butane dioic acid is much higher than the solubility of your butanoic acid due to the presence of only one COOH group. The smaller hydrophobic group over here will cause the solubility to decrease. So the factor for this question will be hydrophilic group. Okay? So let's look at the complete explanation about solubility between butanoic acid and butane dioic acid. The first sentence is definitely comparing the number of COOH group. So butane dioic acid obviously has more COOH group. Therefore, it will then have a larger hydrophilic area than your butanoic acid. The second point will then talk about hydrogen bond. By that in mind, we are talking about solubility. So when we talk about solubility, your hydrogen bond must be with the water molecule. And obviously, since butane dioic acid have more COOH group, your butane dioic acid will be able to form more hydrogen bond with the water molecule. As a result, your butane dioic acid right now is more soluble in water than your butanoic acid due to the presence of two hydrophilic group. Simple. Let's look at another example. I have my ethanoic acid and my pentanoic acid. Your two carbon carboxylic acid, your five carbon carboxylic acid. So your ethanoic acid will look something like this. Well, your pentanoic acid is a 5-carbon carboxylic acid that will look something like this. So my question over here is, can we still talk about hydrophilic area? Can we still discuss about hydrophilic area? What do you think? No. Why? Because we have one COOH in the ethanoic acid. And we also have one COOH in another pentanoic acid. So both right now having same number of COOH group. Since you have the same number of COOH group, we cannot discuss about hydrophilic area because they are the same. And when we cannot discuss hydrophilic area, there's only one thing left, guys. We can only discuss about hydrophobic area. So, hydrophobic area relate to the alkyl group over here. Which one have a larger alkyl group? Obviously, pentanoic acid. Larger alkyl group. And over here, obviously, you only have one carbon as your alkyl group. You have a smaller alkyl group. And everybody knows that your alkyl group or your R group is actually your hydrophobic area. In the other words, the smaller the alkyl group, the smaller the hydrophobic area. The larger the alkyl group, the larger the hydrophobic area. Alright? And hydrophobic area and solubility. Solubility is in water. So, hydrophobic is water 
hitting area. So it's the area that you hit water. You want it to be smaller or bigger if you want the solubility to increase. I definitely want a smaller hydrophobic area. Therefore, your ethanoic acid will definitely be more soluble compared to your pentanoic acid. Your pentanoic acid solubility will decrease because the area that hit water, the area that dislike water is too big right now. So your pentanoic acid will be moving far from the water because your hydrophobic area is very, very big. See that? Simple. So let's look at some complete explanation between the solubility of ethanoic acid and also pentanoic acid. The first point will definitely be talking about the alkyl group. Your ethanoic acid has a smaller alkyl group, the hydrophobic area than the pentanoic acid. So we know that your alkyl group is actually your hydrophobic area. The smaller the alkyl group, the smaller the hydrophobic area. The smaller the alkyl group, which is the hydrophobic area, is easier to dissolve in water. So when it's easier to dissolve in water for your ethanoic acid, your ethanoic acid will definitely be more soluble in water than your pentanoic acid. So the factor that we will discuss over here is your hydrophobic area because the things that make it different is your alkyl group over here. And your COH is the same. Therefore, hydrophilic area cannot be used. So you must discuss about hydrophobic area. The smaller the hydrophobic area, the higher the solubility in water. Make sense? Simple. And that is all about solubility. Solubility is always about hydrophobic area and also hydrophilic area. Nothing more than these two. Make sure you identify which one is your hydrophobic area, which one is your hydrophilic area. Okay, and how they will be affecting your solubility. And before I end the video today, I just want to remind you the solubility that we discussed over here is solubility of your carboxylic acid in water only. Okay, and remember to like the video and if you have any question, drop in the comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you for watching.